And we are underway here at the Hive as Petrasso opts to play it all the way back to Daly, who will then look to go long up towards Adeloy. And only finds a Yeovil head. Daly looks to head it back into the mix, but he's going to drop here for Ruben Reed. He's going to look to play it out wide, but the Canadian Petrasso is in to pick up the loose ball. And now we'll bring it down the left hand side. Petrasso looks to play it in field, but it's cut out by Jimmy Smith. And now Yeovil will look to play forward, looking for the run of Reese Murphy, one of the most dangerous strikers in this division. And it's a little bit of hesitation there from Richard Taylor and a shot on goal that has to be palmed away by Scott Loach. The effort from Albi Skendi, the Alma Albanian. Not catching out the B's number one this early on, but a sign there of what Yeovil can do counter quickly and create a good chance. Bradley now looking to play it down the line. He's found Knowles. Being put under pressure by McQueen. He's playing in a bit of a different role. But he did play it in midweek in that central midfield role, usually a fullback. And Smith goes for goal and leaps just over Scott Loach's crossbar. And out of nothing, Jimmy Smith fashioning a chance there. And it's that kind of threat the Bees have to be aware of. They've got Yeovil have got players that can create chances out of nothing. Daly gets his head on it towards Adeloy and he sets away JJ Hooper here who's got in behind the oval defence but has to bring it under control needs support has it in the form of Alexander McQueen and now it's across to Petrasso will he get a shot away? He does it's low but it is comfortable for Adam Smith but that was promising from the bees. Taylor just misjudging that ball there and now he's let Murphy win possession has support in the form of Knowles who's tight to the touchline Cross is now delivered, but it's gone beyond everyone in black and amber. But Judd just needed a shout there, and he did the right thing. If you're unsure, just, just put it out of play. Just a lack of communication there from Tim Flowers' side. And it will be a Yeovil corner here. Will be an outswinger. Here it comes, ball in towards the far post, it's headed back towards goal and Reuben Reed is there, his effort is saved but it's dropped for Jimmy Smith who gives the Glovers the lead, the 34 year old. And Barnett just failing to deal with the ball in there, not getting it away at all well. Similar to what we saw a couple of weeks ago where initial shot is blocked, but there's a opposition man right there in the six-yard box just to prod home. Oh. Barnett have to be careful they won't collapse here, because here's another chance, and it's almost another goal. Tom Knowles having his effort palmed around the post by Scott Loach. That would have been a real misery compiler. But again, it's all too easy for the Glovers. Yeah, they don't want a, a repeat of last Tuesday, like where it was an almost collapse after one goal. But um, Yeovil looks strong here, so they're going to have to be careful from this corner. Bees have conceded the most goals in the division. Something that Tim Flowers has managed to rectify to an extent. But as you do mention, there was a heavy defeat last Tuesday. Here is that corner kick. And it's a free header and it's 2-0! Billy Sass Davis, the young Welshman, with a powerful header which beats Loach. And it's 2 0 to Yeovil in a blink of an eye, Kieran. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. We said it just a minute ago, didn't we? We said we, they can't concede soon enough, and there we go. Again, Markin was next enough in there, and. It's, just get worse it's a piece. good header, it's down into the oh, ground. The 21 year old on loan from Crew Alexandra. Seventh loan of his career, sixth game for the Glovers. And he's on the score sheet. Bees all of a sudden 
with it all to do now if they want to get anything from this fixture against one of the division's in form sides. I think it'll be interesting to see if he potentially makes a first half change. He's not, uh, I think he has done that before. He's not scared to make that change early on if he thinks it's needed. Absolutely, I think it was Jack Connors away at Kings Lynn who came off pretty early. Crosses in now, and it will be a corner kick for the Bees. Can the Bees find a way back into this game in the 15th minute? Corner is in. And what a finish that is from JJ Hooper. That is quite remarkable. Out of nothing. He's just stuck his leg at it. He's It's not, not a bicycle kick because he hasn't jumped off the ground. But what a finish that is from JJ Hooper. I, I'm astounded. Fun. I looked up and I've seen him volleying it into the top corner. Yeah, you just put your head down for a second and suddenly he's back in the net. I think everyone was quite shocked by that. Didn't even have time to celebrate. <laughs> what a remarkable finish. JJ Hooper there with his eighth goal in B's colours and all of a sudden we've, we've got a game here Kieran, Queen over it clipped in towards Daly who gets his head onto it, straight back into a good area but the overall will now clear and break forward and Adeloy will go into the book here for that foul Very much a striker's tackle. I think that will go down as. And he has shown a yellow card by Elliot Swallow. What do you make of the uh, opening 27 minutes here at the Hive? They've been quite hectic, <laughs> especially those uh, four minutes. But um, you know, I think Yeovil started very quickly. Um, Barnet struggled to contain them, I think. Um, they've grown, back, grown into the game a lot more. I think it's just set pieces where the biggest worry is, where... It, uh, but hopefully if they tighten up those areas they'll be able to keep in this game long enough to potentially get more from it. Here's a breakaway though here's Reese Murphy in a position you really don't want to find him in and wow that was would have been quite a finish hits the side netting, had sent Scott Loach initially the wrong way and ordinarily I expect that man to find the target as he got in behind the bees defence then flashed a shot towards the near post. Fingers crossed. As we were saying, Adam Smith not really been challenged as far. We could see a second booking here. In fact, Adeloy is going to see red. Did he just get booked? I saw him put the card up, but... Unless we got that challenge wrong in this near side. Oh, no, I think the referee... Has just noticed. I think he just realised who he's booked. Yep. There we go. And the Bees will play the remainder of this game with ten men. He is in the... Centre circle looking to take kickoff for this second 45. Visitors attacking from right to left as you look at home. And we are back underway and it'll be played back to goal scorer Sus Davis up towards the oval front line, but it's now headed all the way back to the, the oval back line as they'll look to build again and really take advantage of that red card that came in the 35th minute it's out on the right hand side and it will be crossed in headed away low by Richards Everton Smith up more than forwards now he's under pressure from JJ Hooper and does go down quite soft and it's frustrated the Barnet bench somewhat but it will be a free kick Here's Michael Kelly. Plenty of time and space to maybe pick out an option. It's 
good run from Nafil. In behind the Barnet back line, cuts back inside. Will he get a shot away? He does. And Loach has to be alert, blocking that one with his right boot at his near post. Yeah, it was a very good save there, very quick reaction save from Loach there, um, but some quick feet there down the left. Yeah, it was a little bit too easy for Josh Nafil. Now Reese Murphy with a neat little flick, and here is Skendi once more, has Reuben Reed in the box, cuts back, looks to firing across, but it strikes Richard Taylor, who stood firm, didn't dive in for any challenge. Skendi once more. A few step overs and then infield and a little turner, maybe an effort, a goal here, and Scott Loach down low to his left hand side, preventing that effort from maybe creeping in at the near post. The effort from Tom Knowles, 2019 to any player of the season, a real fan's favourite. At the hive, crosses in. This time dealt with a little bit better by the bees, and it's fired back in. It has struck a Barnet body, and it will be a, another Yeovil corner. McQueen flicks on Loach's goal kick, and here's Michael Petrasso with a little bit of room to stretch his legs into. Back to McQueen, who might get into a shooting position here. Petrasso will latch onto it, and it's being hassled away, but wins the corner. Does he know it's gone out of play for a goal kick? Free kick is in, it's towards the near post, and that's a fine first save from Scott Loach, but he couldn't keep it out as it bounced awkwardly, and it is now 3-1 to Yeovil. Reese Murphy, it's a clever free kick routine, it has to be said, in the near post, but question marks will be raised as to why Reese Murphy, the, the leading goal scorer for Yeovil, isn't picked up easier there. Yeah, I was surprised he even got that first save off. Um, it just shows how good of a keeper Loach is. He didn't really expect that. But, um, yeah, not much protection there from his defenders. Like One of the top strikers in the league, and you're not really marking him. It, a goal's naturally going to come, isn't it? Here's Michael Petrasso, though. Giving a yard of space to run into. Here's Judd. Let's get a cross in, and maybe a little bit more than a cross. As that cross turned into a shot pretty quickly and Adam Smith had to be aware to tip that over his crossbar. We'll take another look near Kieran, but almost out of nothing, Bees found their way back into the game. Did he mean it? Again in an advanced position. It's a wonderful turn from Josh Nuffield and here's Skendi now. Into the box, maybe gets a shot away, and he does. It only flashes narrowly past that far post. The bead's just switching off here at the back. Yeah, it was a powerful effort. That was, I um, feel sorry for ever clipped that out, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, like I said, B switching off again, and I think there's a lot of tired legs and tired minds out there as we enter the last, what, 15 minutes of the game. Dagnall. Here's Nuffil. The oval driving forward again, and it is a fourth, and it's a fine finish. From Josh Nerfield curling it into that far corner. It's a fourth goal of the campaign for the Glovers number 24. And it's a fourth goal of the night, and you suspect that that is game set and match, Kieran. Yeah, I mean that was a quality finish. I think that's all you can really say about that. Uh, the way he placed that ball was superb, but yeah, I think that's. I was about to say the game would really slow down from both sides and then suddenly they come out and score a fourth. Actually, the referee takes a look at his watch. We have played the minimum. And there is the final whistle. It's another disappointing evening for the Bees at the Hive.